In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the most memorable moments from DiCaprio's controversial personal life. Number 1. A Not-So-Happy Ending Leonardo DiCaprio may be one of the biggest names in Hollywood, but even he isn't immune to the occasional party mishap. In 2005, DiCaprio found himself at a Hollywood Hills party hosted by Paris Hilton's ex-boyfriend when things took a violent turn. Aretha Wilson, a former model, threw liquid on DiCaprio before slashing his face with a broken bottle. Wilson claimed that she mistook DiCaprio for an ex-boyfriend who had badmouthed her in the past. The incident left DiCaprio in need of medical attention, as he required 17 stitches to close the lacerations on his face and neck. Despite the severity of the attack, DiCaprio remained calm and collected. He was quickly rushed to the hospital for treatment, but fortunately, his injuries weren't life-threatening. Wilson was later extradited from Canada, and after pleading no contest to charges of assault with a deadly weapon, she was sentenced to two years in prison and ordered to stay 500 feet away from DiCaprio. This unfortunate incident didn't deter DiCaprio from continuing to enjoy the party scene. In fact, it's a testament to his wild and carefree spirit, which has made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. Number 2. Into a brawl over Elizabeth When it comes to partying, Leonardo DiCaprio and his posse definitely know how to make things interesting. In 1998, during a party for the premiere of The Man in the Iron Mask, things got heated between DiCaprio's crew and actor Roger Wilson over actress Elizabeth Berkley. Here's the scoop on what went down that night. DiCaprio and his friend Jay Ferguson were smitten with Berkeley, who had a boyfriend at the time. After she declined their invitation to go to the after party, they relentlessly called her home, according to a New York mag feature. Wilson eventually got on the phone and told them to stop calling, but Ferguson responded with a barrage of profanity. The situation escalated when Wilson went to the restaurant where DiCaprio and his posse were dining. After exchanging words, they ended up outside. DiCaprio reportedly said, let's go kick his butt and an unidentified member of the posse punched Wilson in the throat. The stars quickly dispersed to avoid any legal repercussions. It's unclear what happened to Wilson after the incident, but it's safe to say that DiCaprio and his posse didn't win any points for their behavior that night. Nevertheless, it's just one of the many wild party stories involving the actor and his crew. Number 3. Leo Leaves a Club With A Lot Of Women Leonardo DiCaprio is known for his love of partying, and he certainly knows how to have a good time. Recently, the actor made headlines when he was spotted leaving a Miami nightclub with a bevy of beautiful women. It all went down during Art Basel, an annual event that draws art collectors, dealers, and enthusiasts from around the world. Leo was in town for the festivities, and he made sure to make the most of his time in Miami. On one particular night, Leo was spotted at the pop-up version of One Oak a famous nightclub known for its celebrity clientele. He was joined by Brandon Davis and Joe Jonas, and the trio was reportedly having a great time in the VIP section. But things really heated up when Leo decided it was time to leave. According to witnesses, he left the club with every girl who was in his VIP section. That's right, he walked out with a crowd of beautiful women by his side. While some may find this behavior a bit outrageous, it's par for the course when it comes to Leo. The actor has a reputation for being a ladies' man, and he's been linked to many famous women over the years. But what's really interesting about this story is that Leo is 40 years old, and yet he still manages to party like a young rock star. In fact, if you divide his age by two, you get the number of women he reportedly left the club with that night. Whether you admire his partying skills or find them a bit excessive, there's no denying that Leo knows how to have a good time. Number 4. One guest list is not enough Leonardo DiCaprio is known for his love of parties, and his 37th birthday bash was no exception. The actor reportedly invited 80 women, many of them Australian models, to celebrate with him at King's Cross's Beach House in Sydney. The club was closed to the public for the event, and a long line of attendees could be seen waiting outside. DiCaprio was accompanied by his friends Lucas Haas and Ethan Supley, and the trio were seen smoking cigars and enjoying themselves. 
Tobey Maguire, who is also part of DiCaprio's close circle of friends, was spotted at the party as well, drinking sparkling water. One interesting detail about the party was that DiCaprio reportedly needed multiple guest lists to accommodate all of his guests. In 2011-era Sydney, there were apparently only so many clipboards and sheets of paper to go around. Despite the crowded guest list, DiCaprio and his friends seem to have a great time. The actor is known for his love of beautiful women and partying, and this birthday bash was certainly no exception. With so many stunning models in attendance, it's no wonder that the party was a huge success. Number 5. The Pussy Posse's Controversial Reputation However, the Pussy Posse's party-hard reputation didn't come without controversy. In 1998, Leo and the Posse made headlines for their behavior at a trendy New York nightclub. Witnesses reported that the group was harassing women and getting into arguments with other clubgoers. The incident sparked a public debate about the boys' club mentality in Hollywood and the behavior of young male celebrities. Leo has since distanced himself from the Pussy Posse and their wild ways, claiming that the group was simply a product of youth and immaturity. In a 2016 interview with Rolling Stone, he stated, That was a unique moment in time, and it was a lot of fun. It was also a very hard thing to be 24 years old and to be famous. It's a difficult environment to navigate, and I think we all did the best we could. Despite Leo's attempts to move on from his past, the Pussy Posse remains a notorious part of his legacy. The group's antics continue to be the subject of fascination and speculation, with many wondering just how wild their parties really were. Whether celebrated or criticized, there's no denying that the Pussy Posse left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of the 90s and early 2000s. Don't forget to check out our other videos, including our most recent one where we explore what five movies are banned in other countries.